Okay, so this is just a quick um, note for uh, this amazing Tom's Terrain Tools uh, in the Asset Store. It's free now. I downloaded this a while ago, well, a few weeks ago, and um, I'm always on the lookout for free assets. Uh, I just hope he doesn't just give up from supporting it. But um, the thing, uh, so a lot of it I am just scratching the surface off, but the thing I felt compelled to immediately tell you about is this pathing system. Uh, because, you know, uh, Gaia does a pathing system for about 50 quid, I think, but this one's free. And. Um, what you need to do is you've got to apply I've put in the toolkit terrain toolkit 2017 I've added some extra textures uh, I guess I can talk you through let's start a new scene new scene here we go so we're going to create 3D object terrain there we are uh, we're going to add component terrain toolkit this is the this one here Train models, we just want the grass one. And you get some extra grasses, some lovely looking assets actually that come bundled with it. I don't know how long it's going to support this, but okay. Now we need to go to the toolkit, textures. We've got a cliff and we've got two others. We need to add a few more textures because it needs at least four main textures. So the top of the hill is going to be kind of muddy or rock or something. Rock, that's it. Cold, a kind of cold rock at the top. Then we're going to find that grass one and have that one as the secondary. And then this one we're going to have as a forest floor, which is a new texture which looks amazing. We want to look out for forest floor textures. Some lovely new grasses here. Uh, come on, forest. Forest, there we go. It even has a um, an old map if you wanted to. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, apply procedural texture, there we go. That should be enough. One, two, three, four, I think, that, yeah, one, two, four, and the cliff texture. Make it a bit rocky, the tip of the I don't know. Right, so that's that. That's just using the terrain toolkit. Now, um, we're going to go to standard assets, which we I'm going to put that as a template. This is I don't have to keep downloading it all the time. First person, prefab, first person controller, move it, move it up, get rid of the main camera, hit play. Right. Standard at thingy. Let's, um, because we can, let's just add the roll on textures. Got something to look at instead of blankness. It's clear. I didn't really gain a lot, but I just love the fact that it <laughs> interprets it. I think it's great. Um, Alright. Next stop, uh, we've got Windows Terrain Tools, just Tom's Terrain Tools. I don't want to have to show you in the asset store. When you basically get this window, I'm going to have to show you also. I don't plan to kind of pack it out with this asset store. Pop out, please. There we go. All right. Terrain, deep breaths. Terrain, and the reason, yeah, so you, we need to grab this whilst we can, whilst it's free. We'll just search terrain and put it down to three. Uh, terrain tools, that one there. We'll have another look at some of these other ones as well. Look at that. They look big, don't they? 
Let's concentrate. M gear. This one here was the one. Let me go get that. And then I'm going to have another look at this one too. But first of all, terrain tools. You, you go into here, you look for the free assets. That's the one that brings you to Tom's terrain tools. Uh, I'm just going to download that one whilst I wait. But this is the one you download. Teaching issue. Yeah, I don't know. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna download it. Mm. I think that means I've got it already. So yeah, let's go back one and show you the, the one I'm serious about. This one. Yes, this is Terrain Tools, this is the one we want. <laughs> Previous known as Tom Terrain Tools, and uh, this is excellent. Uh, complicated, but excellent. So we're going to close that now. Uh, we've imported it. Terrain Tools, Terrain Tools. And you drag the terrain you want to modify, so we're going to drag that in there. You've got various texturing, you can. I'm not sure about this flat maps, whether they're working properly or not. Um, grass map details based on imagery might work. I've yet to test that. But the thing I'm really interested in is these overlays, roads and rivers. So if we go to, we select this road, we could make our own road image, black and white road image. That's just to set the base of the thing because it won't work without it. And then we take the overlay map and add that. And then as a texture, let's have a nice dirt road, dirt grass will do, tile size, I don't know, let's flat that up, I felt like having higher textures on this. 50, clear trees, yes, but there's no one that's going to bother. Clear it up. Raise lower terrain. Let's do, 50 was way too much, so let's just do 10. And generate over there. And if you've followed along with my other tutorials about drawing it by hand, the idea of being able to draw it as a 2D image and then just plonking it in is just beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. Let me close that. And we've got kind of like... That isn't actually what I was aiming for. I was aiming for a kind of um, raised path. That's more like a wall. <laughs> it's still very cool, but that's uh, okay. So let's undo that then. That's a nice undo. Edit, undo. Oh, it's not going to undo for me, is it? Terrain tools, where are we? Windows. Terrain tools, terrain tools. Oh, I. Uh, okay, make sure I've got the right terrain. Drag you in, select. Select. Overlay texture. A bit more dirt. You could actually, let's reduce. <coughs> what you could do is have another one, which would be the banks. So you'd have your initial one. Then the secondary one, which would be following it around on each side, so you could bank it off. That would be cool. Um, so we're going to lower the terrain this time by 20. Maybe 15. Something like this. I hope I've got the right one selected. Yeah, that's better. Uh, yeah, so we just cut on a lovely path there. And it's following the terrain. We can put our water in if we wanted to. 
probably need to smooth it off a bit if we want to be serious about making it into par or Maybe that's a little bit too much. That was minus five, I think, in net. So we pick up the terrain, bring those terrain tools, drag the terrain there so it knows which one to use. Pick that as the base, and then overlays, select again, texture. We've got another texture we could use just for fun. Maybe grass rock. Uh, raise lower. I don't really want to raise it by three. And even if we just use this tool for this, then it's even worth a download. There we go. So, yep, that's just a very quick demonstration of using terrain tools, Tom's terrain tools. I think this pathing thing is amazing. And it also does an awful lot more as well. If we go into tools, we've got all this stuff, drop selections to terrain, random object map generators, also really very cool, we've got grass, adding grass, adding trees, and then he's provided a code to, to deal with being able to interact with the trees and its destructible ones, tree map, so you've got to add the trees, I think. And this, uh, you know, this allows a lot more um, set piece stuff. So you can say, right, I want my trees here and here, here. All to be done on 2D maps. I think this is amazing. I hope you enjoy it and can see the potential in it.